Hey, check this out. I'm going to show you how to um, generate multiple sections in the sheets associated with them uh, in Civil 3D uh, 2012. So what we need to do first is we need to create a sampling and uh, basically it's sampling the alignment or the alignment and the surface at given points. So um, what we need to do is we need to go to the home ribbon, come over to uh, profiles and section views, uh, sample lines. So we're going to generate some sample lines. So the first thing that it asks us for is an alignment. We can press enter and get a list. And um, so I have two alignments in there. I want this water main one. And what it's going to ask me for first is what surfaces do I want to sample? Well, I only need to do this EG, but you could have uh, pipe networks. You could have a bunch of different um, things being sampled within a section uh, and you'd be able to choose that here um, say OK and then we want to place the sampling lines basically the sections where we want the sections to fall along this alignment uh, to do that we could set them individually or we could uh, do this arrow down and we could do by range of stations and with that we can set well, one, where we want the the stations, you know, in between what stations do we want to to uh, produce these multiple sections, but also how wide, uh, either right or left of that center line. So I'm just going to stick with the 30 at this point. Um, you could also set this to true, and you could follow another alignment. So if the if you had al alignments that that were outside and they they went in um, varying widths from the center line, you could follow those as well with that. Um, but then I'm going to do them at, uh, I'm going to set them at uh, 50, every uh, every 50 feet along the center line, and I'm going to set one at the start, and I'm going to set one at the end. I'm going to say OK, and it's going to go ahead and place a line, the width on either side, of where that section is going to be. So I just press Enter, and it's gone through and generated samplings along this uh, this alignment that are every 50 feet. So you see 50, 50, 50, 50 uh, stations. Um, the next step is we want to create multiple uh, sections. So to do that we go back to the home tab and we go uh, back to profile section views and we do this uh, section views, do the arrow down and we want to do create multiple section views. Uh, so then a dialog sh shows up and we want to follow the al this this alignment. Uh, this is the samplings. You could do multiple uh, samplings if you wanted. And um, then uh, another uh, Basically, there's some styles in here that, that need to be uh, realized, and uh, that's the, the style for each section, what you want them to look like. Um, if we go next, we go through, and um, this is picking the title block that we want to use or utilize for these sections. So currently, I'm, I'm, I'm going out, and I have created a a title block or a tab within another template that sh that has the viewport set to 20 scale and also has the viewport set to accept sections so that's why it's named uh, sections 20. Also uh, there is some some um, offsets for your sections and how it places them within the viewport uh, window uh, here in this style uh, as well. Uh, if we go to next, we get to do the uh, the range, uh, the offset range, and that was basically set when we did the samplings. You could change it if you needed to. Um, the next uh, idea here is the uh, the depth of the section. So we want to go uh, say 20 feet, and we want to follow this existing uh, grade line. Uh, say next and uh, this is the uh, the surfaces that are going to show up you could have again uh, pipe networks uh, a bunch of different information here uh, to show in your sections the next thing is the band set um, do offset only uh, gives a little space uh, between the next section or the bottom section and uh, the title block opening and uh, if we say create sections uh, you, it's going to ask you down in your command line identify section view origin we're just going to put it out here in 
on the right and it has generated all the frames for and the sections how they would fit in a um, in your sheets now the next thing that we're going to have to do is um, you notice it did all of them I didn't uh, limit it to uh, however many uh, I, I wanted I did them all so you can see that now it's generated every single section uh, along this uh, um, this alignment uh, so the next step that I need to do is I need to go into the output tab or ribbon and uh, pick the under plan production pick uh, create section sheets so this one's pretty simple uh, where do you want to uh, place your um, your sheets within a sheet set um, I have one already created so I'm gonna simply just pick that uh, from my M drive and um, say create sheets. Now, what's it's gonna what it's gonna do is it's going to uh, want to save first, um, but it's going to produce all the tabs or all the sheets across the bottom, and um, they will also be added to the uh, sheet set that was uh, originally set up. Now, if you didn't have one created, you could have obviously picked the one that said create a sheet set. Um, but uh, we didn't. We already had one that we did with pr play and production. So now all the sheets have been added to the sheet set and they are along the bottom. So now when I click on that sheet, um, all my sections come in. The other thing that's neat about this is that because this sheet has been associated with the sheet set, my title block information will all be filled out based on the sheet set manager. So. Uh, I will uh, see you next time. Hope this helps.